could be a major wrench in the New York SAFE Act. Video now circulating on the internet showing a man firing a gun made almost entirely from parts from a 3D printer. The blueprint for that weapon now posted online for anyone who wants to build their own. Chris Gloninger joins us in the newsroom with the latest twist in the gun control debate. Chris? Jerry, if you have the money, you can get your hands on a gun without a background check. The step-by-step -step instructions are online, which concerns not only lawmakers, but law enforcement officials. It's used for a one shot, maybe two shots. And it can be made at home using a 3D printer. As University at Albany Homeland Security expert Rick Matthews told me, you don't need a background check to buy a 3D printer. You only need a couple thousand bucks. There's a reason to have concern. I don't think it's alarm, but concern. The definition of a gun is weapon incorporating a metal tube from which bullets, shells, or other missiles are propelled by explosive force. These plastic guns still have metal components, but the fear is soon the metal won't be needed. Will the laws have to change, though, to include? Mm -hmm plastic weapons like this? If the intent of the device is to fire a ramp, to act like a gun and sound like a gun, then it should be a gun. It's going to be hard to combat this. Sheriff Craig Apple's concerned that law enforcement officials will need to prepare for this new threat. My fear would be that it would continue to get enhanced where maybe you wouldn't need that metallic um, barrel. You would what if you can only get one round off? That one round could be fatal enough. The definition of the gun may be changing, and amendments to the SAFE Act will likely follow, but Matthews thinks law enforcement officials may have to monitor who buys these printers. Somewhere down the road, people may want to say, we want to look at who buys those kind of printers and maybe track that too. Senator Chuck Schumer criticizes the Libertarian group who posted the blueprint online. He called it a reckless act. You'll hear more of his concerns tonight at 6.30. Jerry? You know, Chris, just wondering, you mentioned that these plastic guns still have pieces of metal in them. Will they go through metal detectors or will they set them off? Jerry, in their current state, it's a concern. But as a security expert Greg Matthews explains, the, the, you still need metal bullets and there are still a couple of metal components inside. And those are enough to trigger the metal detectors at all of the airports and especially the body scan equipment that they have. So we'll address some of those safety concerns more again at 630. All right, we look forward to that. Thanks, Chris.